Hi guys, it's Brian from Anarchy Models again. Today we're going to be looking at our angel wing stencil. Now this is the uh, type of thing you can achieve with the angel wings and uh, you can obviously do it any colours you like um, and the idea is that you make up the wing section out of multiple different pieces of stencil uh, depending on the size and shape of the wing. So you have some really tiny ones here for um, smaller models uh, right up to some larger ones here and uh, now you can use them for just creating just a solid outline of a wing but uh, I like to use them here with the shading on there just to give it a bit more um, detail on there so we're going to be applying it today just to this toy plane here that I've got now what I normally do is I'll lay out the stencils on one side just to test out which ones to use, uh, where I want to put it. Um, so as you can see here from the different colours, this is where they're overlapping um, to give you the uh, the full effect. So here we have the uh, the layout of how I want to have the wing. Now it's going to be quite difficult to match this up both sides if you have one side completed. So what we'll do is we'll pick these off and move them elsewhere for now. And you can even stick them, stick them on the model somewhere else or um, back on the sheet or something. But I'm just going to move them just for now. Back here. There we go. So I've, I've pulled off most of the uh, stencils there. Now the first thing we want to do is uh, just tone down the white slightly um, where the start of this wing is going to go. So we'll remember where that is and then we'll just put a little bit of grey on the model. This is the grey we're using. Um, you can want to use it nice and subtly like this and then you can layer it stronger if you want to so um, this is just a subtle quick pass on here now roughly where the um, wing is going to go you can just about see through here so I'm just going to dry it with the air now The first thing we do is these pieces here. Um, you could start with another piece, but I find these bits are a good starting point. It's up to you. So we'll just put this where we want the uh, wing to start. And if you can try and do it so it lines up with a, a piece of detail on the model, you'll find it easier lining up the other side. So I'm going to line up this here with this row of. Um, panels here um, should help line up the other side as I say so just press that on then we want the uh, mirror image of that same piece so that's it there so we'll line it up the same as the other side Have a look there. Yep, that's the right place. Like so. So now I'm going to use this piece here just to extend the wing here down the plane wing, and again I'm going to line it up with an item on the model. So we go. We now need the other side. So on the sheet, things are a mirror image. So I've used this one here. So the other one will be over here. So we'll pick that up. And as usual, I like to have them on a scalpel to uh, to move them around. I find that's useful. 
just check. I'm going to line up properly here. And then I'm going to extend this piece here as well. So use this piece. You don't have to use the exact same pieces as I'm using. Um, you know, the idea is that it's modular, so you can make them more curled out or enclosed. Um, it's just going to depend on what model you're putting them on. Um, so again, let's uh, line this up with a detail on the model if we can I'm going to have that go through there so I now need the mirror image of that piece so again so if it, if that piece was here so it's going to be over here so as long as you remember the piece you've used has a mirror image it should be easy enough for you to find them So you see that's not quite lined up, so I'm just going to lift it off, line it up again. Hmm. There we go. So, press them all down firmly. Now, again, doesn't look like much of a wing now. Uh, this is you know, a modulus, modular type effect here we're going for. So now what I want to do is we've got our grey paint. Now we're going to paint a line along the edge of this stencil. Now to do that we're actually going to be aiming onto the stencil. We, we only want just a, a faint line um, just down here. So, so you can see it. I'm actually painting on the stencil uh, mostly and the overspray will take it where it needs to go. That's it, we don't want to overdo it, it's just a subtle shade of grey on there. So we'll just use the air, this is just air now, no paint, so we're just going to dry the paint off. for the next stage. So the next part we're going to use, which I've already used earlier when I was laying out the design, is this small piece here. Now you use those to tuck into the corner to start off the first row of feathers. Like that. And then find the mirror image and use it for the other side. Trying to have the same angle as the other side. There we go. Now again, quick shade of grey. We're aiming just to the left of the spikes here. So we're going to aim the paint through here rather than here. If we aim it here, we're going to have a huge amount of grey where we don't want it. So let's do that now. That's it. Again, we're going to uh, dry it with the air. And on to the next piece. So, using the pieces that I did the test layout earlier, we'll continue on. So, 
actually two pieces I picked up here by accident, so we'll just remove that. Do that in a minute. So the idea here is we're going to overlap this piece to go over the ones we've done already. So let's just lay it on there. Like that. And then I've got just one of the individual feathers here. There's a bit of a gap here. So I'm going to put one of these feathers in there. Like that. Which then fixes it. This is part of the modular system, so you can have the, the wings at different angles. So again, we'll do the other side. And remembering to uh, try and make it as even as possible with the other side. If you put something straight across the model, you can see, and I can see from here, this side is too high, so we'll just move that down. Go. Now we need that little extra piece that I added to fix the gap, which is there. So again, trying to keep it even for the other side. Back to our grey. Again, we're aiming you know, just to the on the stencil here, rather than trying to fill in the whole area. So. Yeah, just the air again, no paint at the moment, just air. Make sure it's nice and dry. So, on to the uh, last stage now. Again, this is the pieces that I did the test layout earlier. So we'll just use this large piece here to go down the side. And I'm, going to, I'm going to use the lines on the model to help me line this up for the next time. So let's do there. So I've lined up this circle with this panel line and that panel line and this point is touching the top of this line. If you do that it will help you line up the other side. Um, most models will have something on the model for you to uh, use as a guide. So we'll find the matching piece now, which is uh, on here. Again, using my points on the model, we'll line it up. There we go. Now with this one, I'm going to have another one here before we do the paint. So that's this one here we used earlier. And again, if there is something on the model you can use to line it up, then it's a good idea to do that. And the final piece, and the final piece here, so 
So now, leaving the uh, leaving the wings where they are, we'll just paint the, the uh, plane in whatever colour you want to paint it. So um, I think I'll go for a nice dark green. So let's just give this a quick, quick shade of green. Nice light passes here rather than too heavy coat. So there we have a uh, nice shade of green on there. Um, what you can also do um, if you're going to want to do airbrush highlights, um, you'll want to do that uh, at this stage before you take the stencils off. So we'll just add a bit of a lighter colour to the um, green we've already got. So we'll just give it a quick highlight. Make it a bit more interesting. Just use the air just to dry it now. Oh, need a bit more high up that side. There we go. So now we just need to carefully remove the stencils. So if you're careful you can pick up the very first one we did and peel away all of them together um, or it might need to be more than one but we'll have a go. So let's just peel them all away. So there we go. And we'll just do to the side. There you have it. The uh, shading here, as you can see, all, all we did was just lightly shade next to the uh, actual stencil, and that gives you the, the uh, shaded effect. Um, if you do go too much with the grey, you will obliterate the white, and it will no longer look like white wings. So um, there we go. That's the Angel Wing stencil from Anarchy Models. Thanks for watching. Cheers and bye.